different ways to block these are and boxing, kickboxing, and creative ways of defending yourself from punches. Now, who better to teach how to defend yourself against a punch than from someone that does a system that is only punches? So, I'm against a boxer. Strikes in the world. I'm in a boxing territory where all I have to do is punch and not get punched. He's going to be the tool. So you're parrying. So <coughs> parrying <coughs> is simply Scott does a punch, I parry. There's no punch, and I parry. So parry is like a little slap that creates a bit of a redirection. If I'm not redirecting it, it's not really a parry. Okay? So for the parry, so we can practice jabs and crosses. Parry, parry. It's not a big movement, it's just enough. Okay? So, so just keep doing down the process. Boom, boom. Again, boom, boom. Again, boom, boom. Not a big move. See, I'm moving my head with it as well. I'm not going like this. Okay? It's arrogant to assume that I can stand perfectly still and not get punched in the head. Keep my head perfectly still and not get punched in the head. Okay? So I've got to move the head as well. So, boom, boom. Okay? So stick with this, if you're happy with this, put a punch in hand. You want to try and draw some good habits into you. So the bottom and back. Okay, number one, 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 back. I put a note on there, watch for dummies. Okay? Part of the watching for dummy strategy is to make your parries too big. Is if Scott knows what he's doing, maybe we were talking about. You might be looking after me, you might be doing a jab and cross. Right? So do the jab and cross. Right, do it again. So maybe go big like this. Do it again. I'm going to go big. And Scott goes, hmm, his power is quite big. Boom, boom. I'm going to dummy this one and swing it around for a hook. So dummy that one, boom. Right? So he's testing the waters. Okay? So I need to not give him much by doing little parries. Okay? Little parries. Move your body. Don't stand like this. And then do it. No, move around. Make your part of it. Okay? Block. So you've got high block, low block, catch and double. Okay? So it's quite simple. So if you, so if you do a hook, that's the high. If it goes to the body, bring the elbow down. Okay? If it goes to the head, bring the high, come to the head. If it goes low, bring the elbow down. Okay? Don't bring the arm down. So I bring the arm down. <coughs> what happens? Exposed. Well, more so, one way to get exposed. Mm. Right. So if you punch that one again and swing it around, yeah. So you can throw a dummy and swing it in again. <coughs> so don't leave the head open. So that, there's your high. Then there's your low. If you catch, so a bit like the tarry, if he does it, I can, I can meet it with my hand. So if you do a jab, I can just meet it like that. Just cross, I can meet it. If I have boxing gloves on, it'll be more padded, it'll make more sense. And then double, if you're talking about pear shape, if you want to just cover up, yeah, just crash. Okay, there's your double. I'll get the end state in, I just need, I need a minute. Catch your breath. There's my double. Okay. Slip, so do jab, slip, then do a cross. Slip. Okay? Again, practice that. So slip, slip. If you have to do that, boom, put a body shot in. Okay? Slip, body. Or you can do slip, slip, body. Okay? What you don't want to do, keep the other one on your chin. Okay? There's your slip roll. If he does a hook, oh, roll underneath. Okay? So he does the upside, oh, roll underneath. To the other side, roll underneath, to the other side, roll underneath. So like a squat, instead of going squatting down, squat, but the head turns. So if you want to add a bit more detail to that, so it does the hook, bang, punch on the way back. Okay? Well, depending on how low you are, does the other side, one, bang, put a body on it. Okay? Lean back, perks to this, so it does a jab and cross. Okay? Really, really good initial strategy, but by doing it, I need to think what I'm going to do afterwards. So go, 
That's what he knows what he's doing. If he does the jab with the cross, I lean back. If he knows what he's doing, he's going to follow forwards. Okay? So if I do this, so the jab cross, boom, come back with the plan. Okay? And then the one that never fails, jab with the cross, step back. Okay? Simply take the back foot and the front foot follows. Okay? Don't short it. If I shorten it, I'm still there. If I step back, yeah, see the difference? I take the front foot, my back foot back, I move away. If I move my front foot back, I don't move very far. <laughs> okay? So you've got six there. So you've got parry, jab, and rossi. You've got block, so you've got block high, block low, or block double, or if you want to do the jab and cross, catch, slip, oh sorry, my ball, slip, slip, but either do that, if you want to add a bit, do that, that, counter, roll, underneath, so this is for the hook, lean back, jab cross, okay, and then step back, okay. I'll walk around and make sure I can plot this, but see if you can get through all of those six. I can all six of those at least once in the next five or ten minutes. Okay? So, parry. So this side we're going to do jab cross. My side, we're going to parry and parry. So you're parrying to the outside. Okay? So if all of you a jab, parry, same side, does a cross, parry to the other side. Whatever you do, make the parry small, keep your Chin cover, okay? So just do jab cross, jab cross, jab cross, and so on, okay? Here we go. Boom, boom, keep the guard up, jab cross, yeah, boom, boom, keep the parry small. Move your body as well, don't stay still. Move your head, boom, get as many as you can, boom, 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 boom. Move your head away from the punch, not towards it. Move it away. 
Get yourself, you are in range. range. 